players, here's another laid back tune to add to your rocking guitar lesson for mature beginner series. Joker by the Steve Miller Band is the next tune that we're going to feature in this lesson. A great tune many folks will know and sing along with. My name is Jörg Salterman, welcome to the channel. Take a moment to subscribe, comments and thumbs up are always appreciated. Thank you very much. You can download a free lesson PDF in the description of this video. Okay, let's check out the tune. The original song has the guitars tuned down a full step. Miller is playing an open G to start and a C and a D chord. But of course, since it's tuned down a full step, he's now in the key of F. So if you try to play along the recording, uh, your key won't match his. That's the reason why. I leave my guitar tuned normally in standard tuning. And if you wish to tune down a full step, then you go as follows. The low E becomes a D, the A becomes a G, the D becomes a C, the G becomes an F, and the B becomes an A. And of course, the high E string becomes a D. A word of caution though, when you tune down, uh, you're essentially slacking the strings and your neck could uh, bow up and your action could lower. So it's best when you do set up a guitar like that, that you also set up the neck properly because you might get fret bust. So that's a reason why I keep mine in standard tuning. You probably also noticed in the intro that I used the capo on fret four, which puts the tune into the key of A sharp. And the reason for that is the limited range of my voice. So the chords for this tune are G, C, and D. That's both for the verse and the chorus. For the chorus section, there is a fourth chord that we're gonna use, and that is a D suspended fourth. That is a basic D chord with the pinky on the E3. Okay, so the strumming, the simple strumming would be down, 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 up. And the two first downs are muted. The third down, you let a ring out. And then... So you practice that a little bit. So if you can accentuate the bass note on the tree E here. So you play that twice, kind of mute it, and then let the third one ring. And then down. And then do the same on C. And then the same on D. So you can practice that, that is the simple uh, strumming. And I'm going to go into a little bit more advanced strumming there in a second. The strumming for the chorus is just a simple down up, down up, down up, down up. advanced strumming we play the four finger G. Normal G and then the ring finger goes on the 3B and the pinky on the 3E. Okay and then we play a C at 9 which is basically moving those two fingers one string down. So on a G chord we add those notes with the index finger you open A string and then 2nd fret A string. So we strum, two downs, and then one lead ring. And then instead of doing that, we play that here. And then we do the same again with that G at 9. And we do that on a D string. And then we'll play the D chord.
and then back to C at 9. We play this twice. And then open D and hammer on to D2. Open G. On the way up, hit the open D. And then of course hit the G chord again. So I play this right nice and slow. That's a cool little rhythm. And you can do that during the intro and as well during the instrumental phases of the tune. The song structure, uh, we have no intro in this tune, but I would suggest you do one, especially if you play it for somebody. Uh, the recording goes right into the lyrics. Singer starts right away. So uh, do uh, an intro, and for the intro, just do this twice. And if you're a bit more advanced, the advanced version would be... that twice and then you can go into the first verse Some people call me a space cowboy second verse okay so you play that and then at the end of the second verse we're gonna start playing the chorus so I'm just gonna come out of that second verse and then go right into the chorus I'm only gonna do the chorus once but in a recording you play it twice After we play that chorus twice, we're going to go in and add that suspended chord. Ooh, ooh. And then we go into a little instrumental. So you can play that segment a couple of times and then you start verse number three. You are the cutest thing that I ever seen. After verse 3, we play the chorus once, we end the chorus on G, and then there is a lead break. So you can just play the intro segment a couple of times and then end it on the suspended form. Ooh, ooh. And then you repeat verse 2 and verse 3. And towards the end of verse 3 you slowly fade out. That's how it ends and that's how this song is structured. Well I hope you enjoyed another segment of the Rocking Guitar Lesson for Mature Beginners. Until next time I will see you soon. Take care.